Hello everybody, Mark at 100% Pure Alvis. Thank you all for taking the time out to return to my channel today. It is much appreciated. And if this is your first time tuning into the 100% Pure Alvis channel, welcome aboard. It's been a very productive day for me today in the Alvis world. I've just done an upload of the great Memphis Recording Service box set, the complete movie masters 1960 to 62 plus outtakes please check out the upload which i have just uploaded it is a unboxing of a brand new item that uh, is new to my collection so please check that out but also today i went to a charity shop called oxfam in coventry which is one of my favorite charity shops that i go into and i, I was so happy with what I purchased today, all Elvis Presley related items. And shall we make a start on what I purchased? So in the seven inch vinyl section, look at what they had. And again, so excited. I've seen this before, but I've never had the opportunity to purchase it. Elvis sings for children and grown ups too. I've got the album, but this is a seven inch limited green edition seven inch vinyl and you've got on side a let me be your teddy bear and on side b pop it on a string now again i've done an upload of the album alvis sings for children and grown-ups too and if I'm quite honest with you, I actually didn't like the release of this album because it, I just, it wasn't needed. I just think it was very gimmicky and uh, just don't like too much about um, the cover or anything. I mean, obviously, it's a great image of Alvis in concert, but any, everything else about the release, I just didn't like. I mean, obviously, the songs that were on the album were okay. Some of them wasn't the best. But um, so this is the seven inch single, Let Me Be Your Teddy Bear with Puppet on a String. And it's got a catalog number, RCA11320. RCA11320. And let me show you inside. I purchased the uh, cover. As you all know, I love my records to be in their own PVC sleeve. So the condition is not that bad. It could be in better condition. But again, quite happy with the condition. And again, I haven't played it as yet. So I don't know what the sound quality is like. But the vinyl inside looks perfect. Let me get that vinyl out for you. So here we go. It's, as you like, it's got the missing middle bit there. You've got the RCA and then the HMV nipper dog there. It's like a, a dark green, isn't it? So looks in great condition. And again, it had a price of £5 on it. And I thought, yeah, I'm quite happy with that price. So this was £5 at Oxfam Charity Shop in Coventry. Next, in the, they have magazines. Let me get that out. So many people from the United Kingdom and from around the world, Oxfam is a well-known charity retailer. And it sells books records, magazines, um, uh, sweets, etc. Limited edition items that are collectible. So again, I found these four magazines in their selection again today. And I wasn't sure if I had them or not because I've got so many of them. So I picked them up anyway. And um, so I haven't checked out if I've already got them. So I'm not sure. The first one, issue 229 of Alphys Monthly. 
or 25p this would have cost. It says their fan club story. And on the back, it's just, it's not in the best of conditions, but trying to try and show you. I mean, they're in, I'm trying my best to be not that heavy handed with them. I've got many editions of Alvis Monthly. And as you all know, it was a UK magazine, Alphys Monthly, but it's now sadly folded. Fans used to write stories. They'd show you the new Alphys Presley releases that was available at the time. I will show you the year this was from in a minute. I think it's at the front of the magazine. So here, what's it? What's it? What's the release there? Mahalo from Alvis USA Import. I hope I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. All black and white images of Alvis. And there were really informative Alvis months, Alvis monthly magazines. I, I, I used to love purchasing uh, i used to look forward to their release every single month i used to work for a retailer called wh smith in the united kingdom it's a big magazine a newspaper retailer and books and um whenever alvis monthly came out i'd always put it to one side to purchase so i never missed a copy when i started collecting alvis monthly So, I mean, quite a good amount in this magazine. There we go. We're coming to the end. So, this edition, February 1979. It tells you on the see it at the top there. Uh, underneath Alvis Monthly, it says 20th year, February 1973. So, that is issue two two nine the next one is two issues later issue two three one so again try and get quick go through this quicker for you I will let you know the prices that I paid in a moment. Oops. God, I don't want to rip it, do I? I love that one. Madison Square Garden press conference. Again, this would have been 1979 as well. We're near the end, which there we go. I love looking at the old releases of Alvis. 
thinking, God, I haven't got that in my collection. There's so much. So, issue 231 and issue 239 of Alphys Monthly, it cost me 50p each. So again, I think it was worth it. So then we're going on to Alphys Lee Yours, and this is from April of 1984, issue number 12. Do you know, when I, when I seen this today, I think, I remember thinking, so I think I've got it, but I wasn't overly too sure. And when I'm not overly too sure, I will purchase it again because of the low price. And when I look at this, I do think I've got it, if I'm quite honest with you, because I just recognize it, but it, it doesn't bother me a great deal. So there you go from GI Blues on the front there. Issue number 12, April 1984. Free poster, rare photos, Alphys News, views, fun, and lots and lots of fantastic Alphys souvenirs. So Alphys Lee Yours was run by uh, a guy called Sid Shaw. So let's see what's inside. This is like bigger. All the stuff you could buy. He had a shop in London. I, I visited there many a time. Still, look at that. Still got his order form in the middle. <laughs> there we go. This here is a blanket, like a wall blanket. My mum used to have one. Don't know what she did with it. That's a poster. More vouchers inside, which is originally from the magazine. Gosh, there's so much you could purchase. What this what's this at the back word search do you know record riot animal instincts and there is the final two pages so memphis 1984 on the left from the 1950s so that is issue number 12 alphysly yours from 1984 april 50p and then the Christmas edition from 1984 of Alvis Lee Yours. I'm not sure if I've got this one already. I don't think I have. So again, great image from the 1950s there. On the reverse, again, look at that. Some items that you could purchase at the time. Again, let's go inside. image on the left there's one of my favorites from the movie the trouble with girls and how to get into it i mean some of it's duplicated from the previous magazine isn't it the items that you could purchase oh that's a great image of alvis there on the left what a great image of the king the lisa marie plane So what's this? Me <coughs> Sorry, Memphis 84, Alphys on tour with the Alphys Lee Yours fan club. Oh, 
Oh, look at that one there. Ah, oh, my life. I love that one. It's great. More merchandise you could purchase. Again with the Alphys on Tour original uh, order slip in the middle there. Having fun with Alphys. So this image in the background again is from... I think it's from again the trouble with girls more great images and then we're going on to the last two pages there we go what's that one 50 Years to King. And again, I've shown you the back page already. 50p. So, £7 are paid today at Oxfam. So, £5 for this great 7-inch limited edition green vinyl Let Me Be Your Teddy Bear pop it on a string from the album Alphys Sings for Children and Grown Ups 2. Then we go, we go on to number 229 of Alphys Monthly, number 231, Alphys Monthly, number 12, Alphysly Yours, and finally issue 15 of Alphysly Yours. I hope you enjoyed me sharing with them all with you today. So that was my charity shop find featuring my idol, Alphys Presley. Whenever I go out to a local charity shop or a record fair or uh, a uh, vinyl shop, I always get excited whenever I see some Alphys items that I do not own. Um, out of all of these, I think this is the one that I already own. Now, if I do, I will kind of get something organized where we can get that sent out. Because again, I will be doing a live link real soon. I've just got to get everything sorted out because I need better recording equipment. I need better microphone and everything else. And um, we'll get together and I'm going to get some items posted out of some duplicates that I have. So again, thank you all for taking the time out to return to my channel, 100% Pure Elvis. It really means a lot to me. If you haven't as yet subscribed to the 100% Pure Elvis channel, please hit that subscribe button. Helps make my channel grow. And anything you think I can do better on my channel, please leave in the comments below. And I will get back to you and I will do my best. But in the meantime, please keep Elvis close to your hearts. Please keep on playing his music. That is most important to me. Let's keep Elvis music alive and... Lots of love, everybody. Speak soon. Bye-bye.